Okay, here I am, I'm back. Today's beer review is, I think, pronounced Strath. Not sure. Um, can't wait to try this either. Strath Kendrick. It's a Bruges Quadrupel number two. Uh, famously from the Half Moon Brewery, as it's called in English. This is 11% alcohol, as you can see there, a free 30. And interestingly, <laughs> this is how strong this is, and this is how long it will keep. The best before date is the 3rd of March, 2024. Says it there. Well, you can really see that, but yeah, it is on there. Um, I've heard good things about this. I've seen good things about this. Never got around to trying it. Uh, supposedly, it's a real beautiful beer. They do another one as well, but I, I went for the stronger option um, because that's just me. I like I like the stronger stuff, I guess. And also, this is a darker beer as well. So, yeah, I've heard good things and I've seen good things. Couldn't wait to try it myself. So here I am reviewing it right now, and that's exactly what I intend to do. Lovely hiss on that. I don't know if you heard that. Lovely tss coming right off that. There it is. I love that cap. Half moon, look at that. That's so cool. My camera actually just picked up the eye tracking on the camera. It went, well, see, when I'm filming this, I have a square box around my head. Every time I move like that, there's a little square that goes in my eye. When I did that and held that up to the camera like that, it tracked that. It got right on the eye and started to track it. So weird. It's not, it's not even a human, it's, just, it's a print. <laughs> Anyway, enough about technology, and let's get on to beer. Look at the colour of that. Look at the bubbles fighting to get to the top to pop. Meanwhile, on this side of the glass, nothing's happening. That's a, a tanned beige sandy head with a black, I would say, Coca-Cola appearance. Uh, the reason why I'm pouring it straight and trying to get a head on this is because this glass has no etching. So, uh, a top tip if your glass doesn't have an etching at the bottom, if you have no idea what an etching is, around about here where the stem is on the inside of the glass, there should be... A logo or a symbol of something that releases carbon dioxide. Uh, this doesn't have it, so pour from a height, pick a head. I'm gonna let that settle, I think, for a minute. Mind you, oh, fuck it, I won't, I won't. I'm impatient, I'm not gonna. Way. Lovely stuff. I mean, there it is again in you know in detail that Straff Hendrick number two. Eleven percent free thirty. We only got that much left in the bottle, so we're, we're doing alright. We're winning. I'm not sure. Ooh. That's interesting. I've actually got flakes of sediment. I have flakes of sediment. It's very powdery, very thin, but I've got sediment in this. Shame I can't see the sediment in here or in the bottle, actually. Yes, I can. I can see sediment. That does explain a lot. Um, you might not be able to pick it up on camera, but there's a little white line here going all the way around. You might be able to see it on the edge. And then it disappears here. It's just gone from there. And it re-picks up there. You can see that? Uh, and that works. And it goes again there. Look, you can see it there. That's the white line. It's not the reflection. That's the white line of sediment. So that would explain why this beer lasts so long. It's probably bottle conditioned which means there's live yeast still in the bottom uh, which, yet again, the longer you leave it, the better it's going to taste so anyway, enough of me nerding out and, and let's get on with this let's get on with the smells Ooh, I'm a bit unsure a bit unsure of what that is, I'm detecting ground coffee
I want to say chocolate biscuits, you know, like uh, bourbons. Hey, love a good bourbon. Touch of earth. It's a real hard one, real hard one on the aroma, but it smells okay. Not what I expected. I mean, it's been to be really boozy, but again, never tried this, so let's let's just do this. So here we go. Cheers, everyone. Sign me up to a crate of this. My God, that's decent. I want a crate of this. What really got me on that first couple of sips there was how gentle this is. It is so caring of the mouth. Like, it looks after your palate like you wouldn't believe it. It's just, it's like the nurse. It's like the nan. It's the nan that wants to take care of you. It's very gentle on the mouth. On the palate as well, it just glides over the tongue, over the taste buds. It just, there's no harshness, it's very gentle, just gives you a little tickle. Very boozy. That is insane. So smooth, the body of the beer is so smooth. Again, it's one with a head expander. I'm not really getting much carbonation. I'm getting dark fruits. And I'm getting a stickiness as well. I don't know if that's the right term, but there's a stickiness. I'm guessing from like that fruit. So like if you had figs, and you know when you eat a fig, it's all sticky and sweet. It's kind of what this is like. It's sticky, it's sweet. There's dark fruits going on. There probably were these figs in there. There's, there's figs, there's, um, I would say... Maybe like a black currant or, or oh, I don't know, the, the, the raspberry and plums and there's just so much going on. I, I really don't know what is in this. I mean, I'm just doing my best to try and get it. And there's, there's fruit all over the place in this, but it's dark fruit and it's rich fruit. This is definitely a sipper, by the way. Seriously, I need a crate of this. This is amazing stuff. Fruity, sticky, oozy. There's an alcohol hit. It doesn't get you straight away. It just gets you here. It trickles down like a waterfall. And all of a sudden, you ignite the fire. But it's not too much. It's put together beautifully. Well-crafted. Caring. Soft and gentle. I mean, wow. Fuck me. Even Gordon Ramsay would be proud of this. Dark fruits. Bit of barley there. Tad of malt. Sweetness. Stickiness like honey or, or, or syrup or something. Wow, I'm, I'm blown away. That is really, really well crafted. Not something that I was expecting at all. No way was I expecting that. If I was being honest, I was expecting this to be really harsh, boozy, you know, real forward and the alcohol burn, just blow your socks off. I'm not saying because it's 11%, but because I knew this was a dark beer and I thought, hmm, dark beer 11%, <coughs> they're going to just go to town with this, but no. They've really thought about this. They've really, really crafted this beautiful. <coughs> I'll get there in a minute. They've crafted this beautifully. You know, they've taken their time. Every sip is so enjoyable. This is a sipper. It's not one to rush. This is one to really enjoy. And I tell you what, even now in the aftertaste, I've just got a lovely mix of flavour. It's long lasting as well. And boy, oh boy, am I enjoying that. That really is something else. That really is. I'm just getting a, a array of different flavours on the aftertaste of fruits. And a toned down sort of sugary wateriness to it. But it's beautiful.
yeah, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 all day long, that was, I'm going to go, and I'm just going to go and enjoy this, because this is really, really good stuff, so, um, thank you for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and, um, yeah, if, I'll just see you all next time, I guess, in the meantime, go enjoy yourself, and have a few beers, because that's exactly what I'm going to do.